Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We've got live tournament action coming at you. It will be on GSL's Calm Before the Storm, and we've got Njex on the line with me tonight. We're going to be having a good old-fashioned time. Njex, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Knack? You know, I'm doing real well. Uh, we, you know, I just got over a cold, and we've got Perfect and Nas starting out here uh, in, our, in our first best of one. It's, I mean, it's going to be kind of a a sad thing to see one of these guys go. Both of them tend to be very nice players, but, um, you know, I mean, every little bit counts here for us, right? Oh, indeed. That's for sure. <laughs> so, it is going to be perfect spawning as our green Protoss player. Now, this is somebody you're very familiar with, isn't that right? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, I know him better as Future, but uh, he's doing... Uh, he, I, mean, I, I watch his stream quite regularly, and I'm quite familiar with him. He's uh, See, coached a couple friends of mine. People. I, that's why I was wrong, I guess. I thought they were different people, and it looked like they were both logged into our channel for just a moment. I, uh, hold on a second. Let me check the brackets then, because I'm confused now. See, I've got Completely future. confused. I've got Future in the channel still, and we've got Perfect in game. <laughs> so. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's why I'm confused, because he's listed on the uh, site as VT Perfect. Ah, that's I see. That's why I'm confused. Gotcha. Because VT is what Rain used to be. That's right. So I'm not as familiar with Perfect. No, I'm more familiar with uh, Future, who's uh, going to be playing his uh, round one very shortly against... Uh, uh, it says stories on the brackets, but I'm not going to click on that right now. We have to focus on this game, even though it's the opening little stuff, and it looks like it's probably going to be fairly standard on uh, both ed uh, ends. Uh, wall off going down for Naz. What do you yeah, say, Nick? That's looking pretty good. I think standard play is what we can expect here. Now, no, the first thing I want to mention is how big of a map Call Before the Storm really is, and especially here that they're in cross positions. I mean, this is going to be a good old long haul across this map here. Notice that Perfect is checking what appears to be cross position spawns first, so lucky for him, is going to get that early scout out on Nas here, who currently has not left his base, but does have his first gas going up. So we're going to see a very standard opener here from Nas. As we move forward, and it looks like Rain Perfect doing about the same thing. So I'm interested, but here comes his scout, and he's going to make it into the base. Just barely. Just barely. So Perfect, you know what? Nas might be a little bit concerned here. Seeing that early scout from him might be a little bit scary, because then he might think that, oh my goodness, maybe this guy's going to proxy me or something like that, because even if he wasn't in cross positions, that scout is actually pretty quick when it comes down to it. <coughs> Especially on such a large <coughs> map, uh, normally you'd probably be expecting that uh, that little probe to come across maybe 30 seconds later than he actually did. Especially considering it's such a massive map, you could not even, some players might not even uh, find where each other are for a whole minute, even maybe more. Gotcha. Looks like Perfect isn't part of Rain anymore, that's what Zinni is saying. That's alright. We'll just call him Perfect anyway, he's got to get his name changed one day. Looks like his Eventually. poor little probe is finally going to get chased down and killed off in this little corner here. And back here at Perfect's base, he's just still sticking with the standard opener. We're trying to figure out what he's going to spend his chrono on. He doesn't have any chronos coming out quite yet. It's actually it's stocking a lot up. of chrono. Yeah, he's stocking up quite a bit there. And uh, to not be chrono boosting out the cyber core does strike me as a little bit strange. So I'm guessing he's saving this for some kind of tech. He does have his Twilight Council going down, which... Oh, there goes his chrono. Okay, so he's going to start chrono boosting out stalkers here. I'm going to have to assume that he's going for a blink play. What are you thinking? I I think that's exactly what he's going for, but uh, I'm surprised he... Um, well, I, I guess throwing down another gateway uh, would not make that much sense, because you're going to want your minerals as much as possible to con continue pumping out those stalkers, but it's probably going to be a fairly fast blink play. It looks like he's probably going to expand behind or off of this as well, so... Going to send out some Stalkers to try and maintain map control here as he moves forward. Stalker's a great unit for map control. They're super fast. they got great range. And quite, a, quite honestly, they do a heck of a lot of damage early game to a player like Nas, who does not have any of his Marauders out on the field yet. And he's going for a 1-1-1 play here. He's going to skip this Starport over onto his Tech Lab. Interested to see what he's going to go for here. He's got pretty decent amount of gas, and yeah, he is going for Cloaking Field. Interesting. So Cloak on the way. We'll see how Perfect is going to be able to deal with this, but my guess is, is he should be just fine. I, I would like to point out a very smart little move by Perfect. Uh, you'll notice that, oh, well, he moved it, but he did have his probe uh, just going back and forth in front of uh, the opening towards the uh, uh, 6 o'clock position. Mm. 
just to just in case uh, Naz decided to take the long way around and avoid that Zelnaga Tower. Right. It's always a smart now play. He's, now he's dropped a forward pylon, so now things might start to get a little interesting. Yeah, and the blink is going to complete well before the cloaking field. We'll see if he's going to utilize this right up this ramp. My guess is, is he doesn't quite have enough stalkers yet, and so cloaking field should complete by the time uh, he really pushes this blink attack. So, no, I was and this is now going to use that defensively. Go ahead. This is now technically a four gate, as the fourth gateway has now just been put down by uh, perfect. Yeah. Four gates. He should. I'm surprised he hasn't taken an expansion quite yet. But Blink, I'll tell you, is a very expensive build. He's gonna start moving up here, blinking black one at a time. Nice little micro style here. Beautiful stuff. We don't have a Banshee quite out yet to defend here, but he's absolutely gonna need it. Looks like Perfect is gonna hold off for just a few moments. Here comes your warp ends. He's got plenty of units still out on the field, but that Banshee's gonna come in pretty clutch here. Just gonna depend on how well he utilizes the. Uh, the Banshee here. I imagine that we're going to see Perfect start to split his units up here. Either that or retreat. There goes your second Banshee. And now both the Banshees will be attacking these guys. Notice all of the SCVs that have been pulled here for defense. My goodness. A lot of damage being dealt here by Perfect. That is a huge amount of damage. And uh, I'm fumbling to find workers lost here, but uh, it's probably a fair amount at this point in time. It is control R, and that is 13 workers killed by Perfect, with only two by Nas. And then he does blink out with the remaining stalkers here, but he's continuing to keep this attack going, it looks like. And this Banshee over here is completely out of... Oh my goodness, completely Ooh. out, and there's the GG from Nas. Well done by Perfect. Wow, I like that play from him. This blink play is so strong, and he never even took that second base, even though it looked like he was going to for a few moments, but... Wow, well, what do you think, Ann Jackson? Last words? I, I've i seen a lot of uh, Blink Stalker plays recently against uh, Terran, and it seems to work very well, and that was brilliantly done. Um, he he did quite a bit of very good macro, uh, macro micro there. Yeah. So, bravo to Perfect. Great job. Yeah, and he will be moving on. Unfortunately, Nas will not, so we'll be checking out Perfect here, hopefully, in his next game. We'll catch you guys then.